Hey, open up! Who would do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did this thing come from? Forget it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Nothing to do but ask whoever did this to let us out. The mastermind's right there! That kid locked us up! So he was the one who put these on us? It... It... wasn't me! It talks! Why are you doing this? I require all of you to take part in a game. A game? With the fate of you, me, and the human race in the balance. Fuck that! Let's get started, shall we? Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Do we get something if we get it right? No freedom. I promise that I will release all of them. And what if we're wrong? You won't lose. You will have to stay in the game until at least six of you are dead. What? Let's go with blue! It's red. Right! Red! It's gotta be red! 50-50 chance. And the odds for each are the same. Then we should vote! Wait! I can't believe you guys! Kane's right! You're just going to do what he says? What do you think, Carlos? You are the leader of this group. I will take your decision as everyone's final answer. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. It's blue. So what do you say, Carlos? I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him! Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision.
Blue. So, uh, who was it who said it was red again? Hmm. Mm. Well done, Carlos. Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It was just luck. I had a 50% chance. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec. Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? Fear not. I'm a fair person. I promised to release you, and I shall. Ah, but before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, why would we forget? Hmm. I wonder. Pleasant dreams. I know. You're... Hold on. Why are we outside? I have no clue. When I woke up, we were on the ground over there. Huh? What is it? Didn't we all have something attached to our left wrists? Hmm. Huh. I suppose we might have. Coin. Huh? Nothing. I just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped and falling. Ah, uh, come to think of it. Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. It somehow feels like... Like I'm in a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we all forget what happened? Hey, uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid?
Time to choose, Carlos. You. It's red. See? Told you it was blue. <laughs> Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong! Carlos... What were you thinking? Hey, wait a second! Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is... So? What now? You should know already. You were wrong. So the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? At least six. It's possible there may be more than that. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before you begin, I'm going to need all of you to go to sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, you will have forgotten everything. Just happened here. Forget? But why? There's no point in telling you now. You won't remember anything in a moment. Pleasant dreams. Carlos! Akane! Bastard! What the hell's going on? You brought all of us here! No! 
It's not me. Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. No need to take it all out on the kid. Mira! I wonder what this is. <sighs> Give it up, Diana. It's better that you don't force it off. Why do you say that? You should listen to her. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Bracelet? That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane? Junpei. Good morning. How are you feeling? Who's this? I am Zero. The second Zero. The second? Let me make one thing clear. This is a recording. So don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a fork in the road. Normally she'd run down the right path, but for some reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, I asked, Why did you come this way today? This was her reply. Because there was a snail. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair. Don't you think? What the hell is all this nonsense? It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment. Only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter, 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? As you can see, this place is divided into three sections. Carlos, Akane, and Junpei. You three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C-Team. Your leader shall be Carlos. Next is Q, Mira, and Eric. You are located in Ward Q. Your name will be Q-Team. As evidenced by the name, the leader is Q. Hey, wait! Is this a joke? And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Ward D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D-Team. You may wander as you like, as long as you remain within your respective wards. There is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. Memory erasing drugs? As a result, you'll all fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. But you will also forget everything that occurred in those past 90 minutes. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. Hmm. 12, 10. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hallway with an elevator. Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. There's no other way out. The door is easy enough to open. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. In blunter terms, if six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and we'll be able to open the X door. <laughs> this is bullshit. One caveat. 
the door remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close and never open again. Oh yes, with this information, surely some of you at this point are thinking, how can I kill six people? What? No one would... I'll give you one opportunity. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Do you see the computer at the corner of the room? The team names of your newfound enemies will be displayed on that monitor. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team gets one vote. The leader must submit it for the group. Your deadline is 13.30. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized two votes. The group with two or more votes will lose. Every member of that team will be executed. Let us begin. This is the decision game, a game of fate. The lives of you, me, and the human race hang in the balance. So this is the last room. Yes. We've checked everywhere we could. It's just as Zero said, huh? There's no way to get out, except by opening the X door. Fifty minutes left until the vote deadline. Don't tell me you want to vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C-Team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But... Hey, do you think this could be part of the experiment? DCOM's whole psychological test? Nope. What? Why? That masked guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then BAM! Or maybe... There's a bunch of different ways. If only there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but... I thought, why not spread out the votes? 
What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C team could vote for D team, D team for Q team, and Q team for C team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. And that would make it a three way tie. A and no one would have to die? How do we make sure they know to do it? Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? Let the game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end, and something about two people? I guess the tough part is figuring out treat. If it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared for. Either way, it doesn't make sense. Hey, uh, anyone know what this thing could be? A box? What's inside of it? Maybe some kind of white smoke. A tomate baco? You've heard of it, Carlos? Urashima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says force quit box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero'd put something that easy here? It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. So, what now? What can we do? Maybe we should just get this voting business over with. Junpei. No, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Sigma. He mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Information spreads fast. So, whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together. Right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me... You guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500,000 if we joined up. Huh. Color me surprised. Thought a hero of justice had no need of money. A what? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? A really good one? You've faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. Uh, I just have good instincts. Doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. They're pretty good at telling me which path has death at the end. Who is Zero? 
Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask, who is the second Zero instead? Then that means there has to have been a first one, right? Yeah, there is. You know him? Sorta. I brought it up earlier. Bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akani and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. It's gotta be connected. Just please. Believe me. She's right. Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think... If we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, six billion people will die. Yes. What Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term Reverie Syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Reverie Syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah, kinda. Do you hear something? Over there! Gab! Where did you come from? Looks like you made it here using this vent. Does that mean it's connected to the surface? Hmm, I don't think so. A vent to the surface would defeat the purpose of a bomb shelter. So he came from another ward then? It's too dark, I can't see anything. But Ward Q is down that direction, right? Think you can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. Someone likes cake too much. Oh, I know. Let's cut off Junpei's arm. He should be able to fit through then. Huh. Hey, Mira! Eric! No answer, huh? Hey, Gab. Did they steal you away from DCOM, too? But why the dog? Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there? Baloney. You really think Zero would do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case, it holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? I still think this could work. We can use it. Wait a sec. A beer coaster and a pen. I found them on the counter of the bar. Oh, there's something written on it. Oh, uh, I did that. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D-Team should vote for Q-Team, and Q-Team for C-Team. Oh! You're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent! Cross your fingers he can get to Q-Team. You really think it'll be that simple? So we shouldn't? Well, I guess we don't have anything to lose. Why don't we give it a shot?
What did you throw? Cheese. Picked it up at the coaster. It was over there on the counter. Why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles too? Maybe next time he comes back, he'll be a hot dog. It was a joke. Five minutes left. Uh, Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit... I know! Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the Gab letter. Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. C-team is voting for D-team, so D-team should vote for Q-team and Q-team for C-team. Yeah. So what? So, vote for Q-team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and... Yep, Q-team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D-team, and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos, vote for Q-Team. No, you can't! See, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the field. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to report the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. This is weird. There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, let me see 
idiot! Uh, hey! Shut up! He's got the right to see it, too. Mira. Thank you. It's pretty pointless to hang out here, kicking our heels. Let's go back to the lounge. What is this? Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. Virus? What virus? Um, about the vote? What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team, and D team did the reverse, if we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q team would be killed. I suppose that's true if this game is for real. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? The DCOM staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Uh, I get it. You're right. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Mm. No! Come on! Take off that helmet! I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off! Damn, brat! Stop bullshitting me! Uh, stop! Stop! You'll break my neck! Damn! It's really on there! Wait. I see something on the side of this thing. the hell? Isn't it a password input? Does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head will explode. Uh, hey! Really? Who are you? I don't know. I don't remember. I woke up and I was here. Are you saying you have amnesia? Um... Maybe. Could I ask you something? What? I was wondering, where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know that, but where exactly? Uh... I doubt we're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. So, it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? Uh-huh. We all lived together in that compound for five days. C team and D team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. I think his name was Gab. But not you. You weren't there. It's very suspicious. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data, mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So, how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Oh, uh, what made you sign up? <laughs> Tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's it? Well, maybe not entirely. Mira, Eric, what's going on between you two? Going on? Uh, uh, well... Are you in love? Idiot! No, uh, we're not! We're not? Uh, well, well, we're not not, but... Wait, what? I was 
wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? Zero said, it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. That's that Heart Ripper, yeah? Yeah. Rumor is they killed 18 people, all in the past few years. March 15th, 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. It happened again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, on July 29th... Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. You know, I've been trying to figure something out for a while. What is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Uh, so, what, you think there's assorted teas inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey! What the hell? Stop! What if it's some kind of bomb? A bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Mm, I think this is upside down. So, this would be the front. Force quit box? Guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Maybe... Your life. What was that sound? It came from that way. Oh, let's go! Gab? How did you... You came through the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will ya? <laughs> see? You didn't have this stupid thing on your head. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? I get it. If each team ends up with one vote each, the whole thing is a tie and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, what if this message hasn't been delivered to D-Team yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects towards C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D-Team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? A pen? And cheese? <laughs> that 
That should do it. What exactly are you doing? Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and... It's all on you, Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team's a trap. Trap? They could have written it. But maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q-Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! Following the note, huh? Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. If this plan doesn't work, then there are two outcomes that could happen. Either the three and C team die. Or we're the ones executed. No. There's one more possibility. Yeah? It's a joke. Someone is definitely tricking us. So it is you! 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. A reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the critical. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of what you entered. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> When a curious hate oozes calamity. Hmm. So, a moment when hate becomes calamity, huh? I wonder what that means. Beats me. Maybe it's not supposed to have a meaning. 
Huh? It's an anagram. You reorganize the letters into another sentence. Why do you think it's an anagram? I've seen something like this before. In another place. Anyway, where's Sigma? What are you looking at? A box. What kind of box? Well, I'm looking into it because I don't know. Looks like something's written on it. Force quit the box. Hmm, that's interesting. I see a keyboard on it too. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. I shouldn't have thought it would be that easy. We need a hint. Maybe it says something on the underside. Nope. Won't budge. Is it heavy? Heavy doesn't even begin to cover it. I doubt it's made out of anything from Earth. Well, you are getting up there, Sigma. What do you say? My body's still got it. I'll just give it a try. You weren't lying. See? I told you. This is the map for Ward D, right? Looks like it. And we can go wherever we want, so long as it's within this ward? Yes. That's what Zero said. Checked all the rooms from top to bottom, but... You didn't find any exits? Obviously. We are in a bomb shelter, after all. If there were several exits, it'd defeat the purpose it was built for. So Zero told the truth. Then opening the X door is the only way out. There's no point. We wouldn't hear a drunk toga party at full volume on the other side. <laughs> I think we need six passwords to get this door to open, right? Yeah, that X pass thing. For every one person who dies, one password will be revealed. Is that true, though? Sigma, why don't you try dying once? I politely but firmly refrain. What about you, Diana? Hey, uh, no. Figured. Um, may I ask you guys something? What's up? Who do you think Zero is? Do you guys know who Zero is? No, they haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. What are you... There's one more thing for sure. Think about it. Why was Zero's speech to us pre-recorded? 
There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or... Zero is among us. attempting to stay true to an actual Mars mission. It's at least six months between Earth and Mars. In that time period, Earth will have rotated halfway around the Sun. Which means... By the time the spaceship reaches Mars, the Earth is behind it. With the star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the Lido. We've been doing experiments for the past five days. Transmissions will re-establish on December 31st at 2330, which leaves us with more than 10 hours. There's no point in hoping for a rescue to come before then. Pretty sure the DCOM staff won't notice any problems until that time. <laughs> you guys are like siblings. You're totally in sync. Somewhat rude of me to say, but the way you talk, Sigma, is um a little unusual. Forgive him. The age of his mind and his body are completely different. Oh, he mentioned that back at Decom. That his consciousness had come back from the year 2074. That's correct. That's why I know what will happen in the future. I must have spent the past five days warning all of you. If nothing changes, mankind will be destroyed. Kane, Fai, and I infiltrated DCOM to stop all that from happening. Fai? Is this true? Well, would you believe me if I said that it was? Then why are all of us trapped in this strange place? If you know the future, then you could have prevented this. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. another reason why I decided to join. Gab! Why is Gab here? I think he came through the vent. See anything? No, it's too dark. You're up, Fi. You want me to go in there? It's clearly impossible. You sure? I won't repeat myself. Um, my boobs are D's. Your pants are on fire. It's true. It seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. Growing is natural. You were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? What is this? Is that a coaster? Something's written on it. Hello, Carlos here. C-Team is voting for D-Team, so D-Team should vote for Q-Team and Q-Team for C-Team. And someone else wrote... Q-Team, got it. I get it. By spreading out the votes, they're suggesting we make it a tie. Looks like Q-Team agreed. Seems so. I guess Gab passed through Ward C to Ward Q and ended up here. It'll work! Now none of the teams will have to die! 
Hmm. I wonder about that. What? The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Damn, we don't have much time. We need to head over to the voting device. What exactly did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Do you mean that Q-Team is planning to betray us? No, I doubt it. That's what they intended. They didn't have to send Gap. They'd only have to decide to vote for D-Team. Then you mean... There's a chance that C-Team will betray us. Maybe they're saying they'll vote for D-Team, but actually vote for Q-Team. Why would they do that? To make us choose Q-Team. If you think it's a good idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm just saying. It's a possibility. The deadline to vote is in one minute. W what should I do? The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q-Team's voting for C-Team. So we have no choice but to choose Q-Team. Otherwise... Our single vote could cause the death of all of C-Team. Your vote has been accepted. Well, that was a good choice. Do you think it'll be okay? So long as Gab's note was the truth. All we could do was trust them. I suppose. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you win. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You will deserve a reward for a day. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the premium. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to reflect the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result,
Oh.